basic statics in sociological research today's topic is which variable family organization or basic enemy would you consider independent based on your consideration interpret the result table as measurement of association b variant analysis on sociological research refers to the analysis of two variables to determine relationship between them by variant analysis are conduct to determine whether a star association exists between two variables the degree of association of one does exist and whether one variable may be predicted from another for example bivariant analysis in sociological research could be used to answer whether there is an association between income and quality of life or whether the quality of life can be predicted from the income level why do researchers use cross tabulation Cross-tabulation is one of the most useful analytical tools in sociological research. Cross-tabulation is most often used to analyze categorical nominal measurement scale data. Cross-tabulation is two or more dimensional table that records the number of frequency of response that have the specific characters described in the table cells. Researchers use cross-tabulation for the following purpose. A. To eliminating confusion as raw data can sometimes be challenging to understand and interpret cross tabulation offer a simple way of correlating the variables that help minimize confusion related to data representation b to derive numerous inside cross tabulation maps out the correlation between variables inside that otherwise may have been overlooked or clearly understood c to provide the qualified or relative data on two or more variables across the multiple factors with is in the given problem to test an association between type of family and type of economy though c square test at first formulating new and research hypothesis new hypothesis there is no relationship between family organization and type of economy research hypothesis there is relationship between family organization and type of economy what is experiments are we after in what condition we use how do we mean compute the interpret the value of row discuss experiments rank order correlation rso is denoted by p is a non parametric measures of rank correlation it was developed by the world famous english psychologist charles edward experiment experiments row assess how well the relationship between two variables can be described in terms of monotic relationship Experiments are so or experiment rank or the correlation determine the strength and the direction of monotonic relationship between two variables rather than the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables, which is what Pearson correlation determined. A monotonic relationship is a relationship that does have one of the following characteristics: a as the value of one variable increases so does the value of other variable or b as the value of one variable increase the other value variable value decrease generally the rsop value will be high if observation have a similar rank and low when observation have a dissimilar rank between two variables it is also considered and defined as pearson's correlation coefficient between the rank variable condition to use rso P may be considered as a measure of agreement between ranks. It is appropriate. A. To measure measuring agreement in ranks assigned to the same subject on the exact dimension by two zones. B. To measure the agreement in rank assigned to the same object on the two different dimensions. C. To obtain a quick and straightforward indicator of correlation between two series of quantitative variables that have been translated into ranks. Rank order correlation coefficient should be employed when the following condition can be satisfied. A. A straight line correlation. B. When both variables must be rank and order in ordinal data. C. When units of the simple sample are selected from the random sampling method. Computation and interpretation of P. RSO. A. Rank the two variables b find d is equals to r1 minus r2 is equals to where r1 is equals to rank given to x every variable's value and r2 is equals to rank given to y y2 variable values c use the following formula if rank are not repeated p is equals to 1 minus 
6ed squared by n bracket n squared minus 1 bracket. Use the following formula if rank are repeated where m dot n and p denotes the times of rank they are repeated the calculated val value of r so p is interpreted on the following criteria as clearly minus 1 greater p greater 1 a if p is equals to 0 there is not only rank between variable value nor rank correlation what are the essential conditions for applying c square test of independence the c square test is independent also known as the pearson c square test simply c square test is you determine significant relationship between two nominals categorical variables the c square test can be used both estimate how closely an absorbed distribution matches and expected distribution the goal is of fit test and to estimate whether two random variables are independent of one another the test of independence the c square test of independence is used to assess if two factors are related the test is often used in sociological research to determine if factors are independent of which other for example we should use this test to determine the relationship between voting pattern and race income and gender and behavior and education in general we use the c square test of independence when we wish to test is variable x dependent independent of variable y question mark it is important to note that this is does not test how the variable is re related simply whether they are independent of one another for example while a test of independence can help us determine if income and gender are independent it cannot help us assess how one variable gender might affect the other variable income following essential conditions are necessary for applying c square test of independence a the level of measurement of variable is nominal or original b the sample sizes of the study groups are unequal for the c square x square the groups may be equal a size of unequal size where some parametric tests require groups of equal or extra approximately equal size c units of sample must be selected though random sampling method d and independent observation for the sample one observation per subject must require logic of analysis of variance to analyze variance we treat the total variance in the set of scores as divisible in two components the deviation of raw scores from their group mean known as a variation within groups and deviation of group means from one another known as the variation between groups analysis of variance ANOVA is a hypothesis test used to compare the means of three or more groups the logic of ANOVA is very much like the logic of the test we might be able to see that sample means are different from one another just by eyeballing them but we do not know if the differences is statically significant in other other words the apart difference could be due to sampling error or due to chance factor the critical differences between ANOVA and test is that test can only compare two means simultaneously while ANOVA has no such restriction ANOVA essentially compares the amount of variation between groups with the amount of variation within the group the analysis of variant and an F ratio whose numerator represents variation between the groups being compared and whose denominator contains as estimate of variation within this group the F ratio indicates the size of the difference between group relative to the variation within each group the larger the F ratio the greater the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis and accepting research hypothesis based on the given question at first formulating null and research hypothesis null hypothesis religion affiliation has no effect as family since Resource hypothesis religion affiliation has an effect on family level of significance. Conclusion Since calculated F ratio 8.24 is greater than table F ratio 3.88, so we reject new hypothesis and therefore accept resource hypothesis. Hence, we conclude that people belonging to different religious affiliation vary with respect to family size. Under what condition do resources apply one way ANOVA? Explain. One way analysis variance is also known simple analysis of variance. One way ANOVA has only one 
independent variable and it is used to compare two means from two independent unrelated group using the F distribution. The null hypothesis for the test is that the two means are equal. Therefore, uh, significant results mean that the two means are unequal. The one way ANOVA percent the total variability of the data into two sources, the variability between the groups called the between groups variance and that exists within each group called within groups variance its sum of square is used to form an independent estimate of the s population variance f is equals to between group variance divided by within group variance in the above formula between group variance has to do with the different among group means even if there is no treatment effects it would be unlikely that the sample means for the groups would be identical within groups variance reflects the differences observed among subjects exposed to the same treatment it assumed that within groups variation of a similar magnitude exists in such of the group under the following condition research use one way ANOVA a a comparison between three or more independent means b interval data to conduct on one way ANOVA we assume that we have achieved interval data categorize or rank data should not be used c random sampling we should have taken our samples randomly from a given population of school d a normal distribution we assume the normal population for an essential condition for one way ANOVA e equal variance the population variance for the different group are equal 